out on this opportunity to boost your online presence and connect with your target audience. Presented by Marwal Busaidi from Otaxi. Assalamualaikum. Hello, everyone. Um, actually, I'm going to start this by telling you a short story. Uh, so one day, it was on summer, and me and my colleagues, we were in a vacation, and we wanted really to try like new things. So one day, we were, we were like passing by a lake that was near our hotel, and we found this guy with a hat, and uh, beside him, there was like a bucket full of fishes. So we said, oh, why don't we try this? Uh, so we had like a chat with this guy, just like trying to get some tips, and he actually advised us to come to, uh, tomorrow at 5 p.m. so that we can get the fish. But the thing is, the next morning, we woke up so excited, uh, everything was ready and we went there like in uh, early afternoon because we had like other plants in the evening uh, so yeah the weather was cool the bait was colorfully ready and everything but we sat there for like almost two hours and we got nothing so it was really disappointing and we just got back so the lessons learned here is that actually to get the fish you need to get it at the right time you need to fish where and when the fish are actually there. And actually, we didn't go fishing. This is just a representation of uh, our journey in our taxi and specifically in social media and how to actually get our audience, how to catch these people. Uh, yeah. And this is basically the topic of uh, uh, the presentation. Uh, I was introduced before, but uh, this is Marwal Busaidi. Uh, I'm a marketing and information system graduate from Sultan Qaboos University. Uh, I've been working with Otaxi for over three years as a marketing specialist, uh, CRM manager, digital marketer, and so many other things. Okay, and I'll be really disappointed if you don't know about Otaxi. Anybody doesn't know about Otaxi here? <laughs> or anybody actually is using the Otaxi application here or like tried it once? Raise your hands, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So in this presentation, how to? Uh, first, I'm gonna give you like a short overview of what is Otaxi exactly, and then we're gonna go to some challenges that we faced and how we tried to solve them. Uh, what happened through the journey in social media? And the main thing is to talk about the seven steps of how can you actually market your business through social media. Uh, thank you. Okay, so how a taxi was born? Now, the road actually was not easy for both riders and drivers. The market was not regulated. Uh, people, they were spending like lots of time in the street just trying to get a taxi. And there was like a lot of other issues, like there was no safety, there, was no, there, there were no standard fares. And also for the drivers, it was difficult for them actually to find the riders. They had to like move around, which, which was adding like lots of expenses for them, like uh, the gas expenses and so on, away from the theft cases that were there. Uh, so Otaxi comes here actually to solve this issue with a one, uh, one click taxi service, connecting both the orange taxi drivers and anyone who, who needs a ride with a smart technology application. And we started first with these two uh, services, the economy and van. And then, after, and then throughout the years, after you know, like understanding more about customers' needs and the society in general, uh, we introduced other services like the VIP and luxury, and recently, in the last year, the all-female service. OK, but the application is there. It's a beautiful application and everything. But there were still some other challenges that actually we needed to consider, like the fact that there was actually a bad reputation of the orange taxi. People had bad perception towards uh, the drivers. And even though a taxi is actually here to solve these challenges, people still, still they, they don't know us. Why would they trust us? And they don't even think that they actually need such service. So the question here was actually, how to position our taxi as the best solution provider for transportation? And like, what was the easiest and like the cheapest way, considering that we were actually just a startup company, uh, than the social media? Uh, almost everyone in social media, and even based on statistics, 80% of the population actually there. 
And especially with Corona, uh, the, the usage actually increased like by 11%. So yeah, this is like the best place uh, uh, for, uh, for us to reach the audiences. And I remember like our first meeting with the CEO. It was actually in a classroom and we were just trying to find ways of how can we actually do marketing for a taxi. And the plan was actually just to have like three posts per week and we want to be more friendly, uh, more closer to people. And we were so excited that we just wanted to do something creative. Like, how can we deliver this message in a creative way, in a nice way? Uh, but the thing is, with all this creative content and all the posting, it was still not enough. You've got to be kidding me. So here we knew that we had to do some transformations. And here was the turn point uh, to do the rebranding. Now, the thing is, when you want people actually to know you, first you need actually to know yourself, to understand yourself, uh, yourself better. So that's why we decided to do the rebranding, uh, trying to have like a clear brand strategy, which is, of course, translated into a clear marketing strategy, and then into the social media strategy. Uh, there's like a lot of details involved, but let's say these are like the things that we are trying to apply in social media. So if we, of course we changed the logo and everything, and if we talked about the personality of Otaxi, this is actually the core values of Ot Otaxi, like the main values. So Otaxi is positive, fun, caring, practical, and interactive. And yeah, of course, there was like a shift in the social media strategies. We knew that actually to reach the right audience, you need to have, you need to create the right content and to use the right platform and in the right time so that actually you can reach these audiences. So as you can see here, like the, uh, the formula, and of course, after you do this, probably you will reach uh, to get them as your happy customers. So let's dive in now for the seven steps of how can you actually market your business on social media. Now these steps are actually based on our experience and it's also based on research. And I'm gonna talk more uh, into details about each one of them in the next slide. So first, you need to start your plan with defined goals. You need to know what are exactly your objectives. So for example, in Otaxi, our objective to, uh, at the beginning, it was to increase the brand awareness. And also we wanted to build engagement like community around the brand. And also we wanted to enhance the social customer service. After you define your goals in which, as I, as I told you, it's different from like brand to another depending on your business itself. You need then to understand and define your target audience. There is no point of just targeting everyone and wasting your money and time for this. So uh, you need to know actually who needs your service and try to discover even other opportunities for that. So for example, in a taxi, after like uh, doing research and after understanding the current customers that we had, uh, the target audience of uh, our taxi in this uh, age area uh, range from 18 to 55 years old. And these are like the main segments that we target. So students, employees, mothers, uh, tourists, expats, businessmen. Yeah. Uh, okay. And after defining your uh, goals and your target audience, now it's time for you to choose the right social media platforms. Now there are actually many uh, social media platforms and there's like no uh, right uh, choice for you, you have actually to try or you need to know each platform and how, can, how it can actually uh, help you. Okay, so these are actually the four uh, main social media platforms that we use in our taxi. So we have Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and TikTok. So Twitter is, uh, the, pr the purpose of Twitter, it's more informative and it's more uh, about building companies. Okay, so Twitter is more informative and about building conversations. Uh, the audiences range from 18 to 34 uh, years old. And the content type is more into like news and having discussions and to add like some humor to the content. LinkedIn, of course, it's more formal and it's more uh, around like the core values and the feature of, uh, features of like your service or your products. And the, uh, the audience there are more 
professionals and they range from 20 to 55 years old. So here the purpose of using LinkedIn is more about like writing articles, uh, doing some announcements like new service or like a new feature you have. Yeah, so this is LinkedIn. And Instagram is more like more fun. Uh, the content type is more visual and it's a good way also to like to inform your customers about your brand, uh, to engage with them, to be more fun with them. Uh, the audience range from 18 to 34 and the millennial, mostly the millennials. And the purpose here is mostly about uh, storytelling uh, through the videos and the photos. And last we have the TikTok. Uh, TikTok is mostly the audience that are mostly the younger age, though it varies in general. Uh, but yeah, the purpose of TikTok is more about uh, increasing your reach and engagement. And the content type is more fun, relatable, and like there are some challenges there, the songs and so on. Okay. After you choose the platforms, now you gotta uh, create your content strategy. Now the content actually varies in terms of types. So the content can be actually educational, like for example, trying to let people to know how to use the application, what are the features in the, uh, of the service itself. Inspirational, it's more about uh, letting people know how this service or this product actually is changing lives. Uh, interactive is trying, maybe sometimes you can ask questions to people, uh, trying to get even insights from them. Uh, promotional, when you have like any discounts, trying to attract more customers. Uh, newsworthy, is there like, any announcement, any news regarding your brand? And entertaining, like any uh, content that is fun and relatable for the users. And of course, in your content, you need to choose the right keywords and the hashtags, uh, hashtag, which is of course based on your brand and the industry that you are in. This is like some examples of uh, our content and it showcases like uh, the content types. Okay, uh, so after like uh, choosing the, uh, the platforms and creating your content strategy, uh, here I'm just gonna talk about like each platform and its content in general and with some examples uh, from Otaxi. So for example, Twitter, uh, as I said before, you can use some humor trying to be more relate to, uh, related to the uh, people. You can open discussions, conversation, you can use uh, polls, you can, uh, and there are like some uh, points that you actually need to consider that are very important. That first, the Twitter account is not your personal account, so you need to treat it differently. And also uh, make sure that you're spelling the things right and don't misuse the trending topics and the hashtags. Now, this in, uh, here in the picture, you can see this tweet. Now, this is one of the tweets that we were really proud of. It was actually uh, because of the content that we did. So the idea here was that uh, what are like, it was like an example of uh, forgotten th items inside taxi cars. But the thing is, what was different is that we didn't just put pictures, I, it doesn't show here, but in general, for each item, uh, we describe it in a different way. So for example, like the shoe, we say Cinderella shoe. Uh, for the wig, we say like Shakira uh, hair, and for the others also. And it really hit, and people were actually like sharing it. And it also reached one of the marketing agencies, it's like market, one of the marketing uh, accounts that's very famous in the Gulf, and they talked about it. So it was really great to see that this content was just, it moved around the Gulf without, without us doing anything about it, actually. So yeah, this is regarding Twitter. And in LinkedIn, as I told you, it's a bit formal. Uh, you can here like announce some of your sponsorships, partnerships, any news that you have, any new services, any events that you attend, comics for example, and you can write some articles trying to highlight your business in general. Yeah. And on Instagram, as I told you, it's more about uh, the visuals, so using like uh, videos and photos, uh, stories, feeds and reels. And here what, I, what I'm uh, showcasing here is that 
there are, of course, different tactics or different ways of how can you actually utilize this platform. So what might work with us, it might not work with you, but you need all, always to try new things and see what actually uh, fits for your, uh, for your brand. So here um, I gave two examples. Now this example, like one of the things that uh, we see it that really works for Otaxi is when we do contests. So for example here the iPhone 12 giveaway. Uh, this was in 2021. And also the reels when they are more like fun and relatable to, to people. So in the first one, we actually invested uh, money for it, uh, for the iPhone, for like uh, the ads that we did. And we got actually good results out of it in terms of followers, comments, and so on. And in the second one, it was just uh, a five minutes uh, photo shoot, okay, uh, translated into some seconds of a reel. And we didn't spend anything, it was zero, but it really gave us good results. And we even hit like uh, more than uh, one million uh, views. So the idea here is that sometimes you might invest actually a lot in something and you might not even get the results or you may actually do that. And sometimes you're not even investing any dollar for it or like any real for it and it can actually give you results. So it's all about actually how can you create a good content and you use the right way actually to deliver it to people. And this is like uh, the results of the iPhone giveaway. Uh, it was one of the things that uh, really uh, gave us good results. So here, for example, this chart, it shows you uh, the new users throughout the month that we did this uh, contest. And you can see here that there was actually a jump in terms of the new users because of the, contents that we, the contest that we did. And in terms of TikTok, why should you invest in TikTok? Because TikTok is a good place to get free organic reach by just creating just like a, a video uh, and it can reach to many people and in a different way. Now the TikTok content, you must uh, consider that you need actually to follow the trends, like the trendy songs, the challenges. You need to be more human, adding more people in the video and, and you need to be spontaneous uh, okay. okay, but there are some things you need to keep in your mind uh, when you upload anything. So uh, before uploading, you need to show up as much as possible uh, in the social media platforms. You need to join conversations from uh, other uh, brands even. Uh, you need to know what is the best time actually to upload and you need to have like a hook in the two seconds of the video because those two seconds actually uh, they like they decide if this person is going to actually watch the whole video or not. During the upload you need to write of course a caption, the good, uh, good one. Uh, you need to add some hashtags. Now you can add for example two to three relevant hashtags and maybe one to two not relevant in the description but try to, not, to minimize the number of hashtags in general. Uh, choose attractive uh, thumbnail, uh, the, the picture that's in, in the front of the video. And of course, add it to your profile. After uploading, you need to share the story or like the reel or the TikTok because the more you actually share it to people, the more it can actually reach to uh, more people and increase your reach and views. And you need to answer the comments that you get trying to engage with the people. And of course, again, you need to show up as much as possible. Okay, so in the fifth uh, step, after you have actually a clear plan and after you have actually a budget, now you can actually uh, uh, use some tools that are actually paid, but that can help you actually to go farther and farther and reach more uh, audiences. So then we started to use the paid ads or like the paid tools in general to help us uh, on this, trying to pull people more into our profile, into our, our, our application and the website. So for example, in Otaxi, we use Facebook ads, Snapchat ads, and we use also social influencers. Um, yeah. And this is for example, uh, because we did like a lot of ads depending on the campaigns and these are actually one of the, Danny, the best performance ads and we've noticed that mostly the ads that are really, that they 
succeed. Uh, they are humanized, or like they are fast and test sh short movements, and if there was actually attractive promotions. And again, this is uh, for Otaxi. It might be different actually for your brand, but you need to try and know what's the right uh, strategy for you. Here, uh, regarding uh, using social influencers, so throughout the years we use different influencers like mega and mini influencers. The good thing about using this strategy is that you can actually reach their audience because they already they have like lots of followers. This is one of the uh, cases that we did in uh, last Kharif. So we collaborated with Mohammed Al-Makhani, of course, mostly all of you knows about him, uh, because we wanted actually to reach his audience. Uh, which is in Oman and also outside Oman. Uh, because we wanted people to know that Otaxi is actually also in, uh, in Salala, in Dhufar. And you can see in terms of the results in these charts, we really, uh, there is like a jump in terms of the app downloads and also in terms of, of, of the followers. But of course, then it comes the, uh, the job of how actually can you make these people uh, real users for your application. Okay, and after that, and this is like one of the tools that we've been using uh, in the last year, uh, using some tools for analyzing and for scheduling your content. So there are actually many other tools, but we are using Hotsuit. Uh, so it really helps you to organize your content and, uh, and ske for scheduling. And also it can help you to interact with other accounts, like for example, comparing even your account with your competitors, trying to know what, uh, who's actually uh, uh, first and so on. Uh, and it really helps you to track and analyze the conversations that are around your brand, to know more about the people, what they comment, how do they feel actually about your brand. And the last step, it's about track and refine performance, uh, the KPIs, the key performance indicators. Now, there's no point of you doing uh, all of this, all this content, all this posting, all these campaigns, if you're actually not tracking uh, the success of it. So you need to have clear uh, KPIs for uh, everything that you do, the platforms, the campaigns that you do. So for example, for Twitter, uh, we are measuring the impressions, the engagement, link clicks, profile visits, LinkedIn, for example, impression, engagement, downloads, uh, Instagram impressions, video play, plays, interactions, reach, TikTok engagement, total play time, views. And again, these KPIs, you measure it by yourself because there are so many other KPIs that you can actually use. But again, it depends on what you're actually uh, doing. So, so this is a summary of the, st the seven steps that I was talking about. So you need first to start your plan with defined goals. You need to understand and define your target audience. You need to choose the right social media platform. Uh, you need to create a content strategy. And then you can move to the other steps, which is to run ads on social media, to use some tools for analysis and scheduling. And then of course, to track and refine your performance. So our journey actually in social media, of course, it didn't end, it's still ongoing. We are still trying to find uh, new tactics and new, and new ways actually uh, to reach the audiences. And yeah, it's really important for you actually to have a clear plan and to try. You always need to try and try and know what actually works for you and to learn even from your mistakes. And I hope, it, I hope this was actually helpful and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you very much. And if you have any questions, uh, you are free to ask. Thank you. Uh, you didn't mention Facebook. What is that? Uh, we are using. OK, we are using actually Facebook. Uh, but let's say we are not focusing on it that much. Mostly this, the, the four that I've mentioned. But yeah, we are using Facebook. And mostly Facebook, we use it for ads more than uh, posting. Yeah. Any other question? Anything? Okay, thank you very much. And see you, inshallah. I don't know.